All right, we're going to learn how to do an atomic bore model. And I have an example up here for potassium. And what I need you to do for each element that you're going to do tonight is you're going to look up the element on the periodic table and then write in the periodic table block. So you're going to draw out your block and write in the atomic number the atomic mass, the element name, and the element symbol. So you're going to make a periodic table block for each element that you're going to do tonight. The next thing that you are going to do is to write in this information. So you're going to find what the atomic number is and write the answer. Find the atomic mass and write the answer. Find the number of protons, write the answer. Find the number of neutrons, write the answer, and then the, the number of electrons, okay? After you finish doing that, then you're going to draw out the atom, the Bohr model. First, you're going to draw the nucleus, okay? So you're going to draw this green circle. And that's going to be your nucleus. Inside the nucleus, you're going to write a P and an N. Once you have figured out how many protons there are, you're going to write that number in front of the P. Once you finish out, figure out how many neutrons there are, then you're going to write that in front of the N. After you do that, then you're going to draw your first shell or first ring, so the innermost one. You're going to draw that first. And on the first shell, you can only have two electrons. In this case, we need 19 for potassium. So on the first shell, you'll draw in your first electrons by, uh, by just showing a circle. After that, since that one can only have two, then you move and draw your second shell. So this is our second shell here. And on your second shell, you can have up to eight electrons. In this case, we need 19. We already drew two, so we need 17 more. So we're gonna need all eight on that second one. So go ahead and put these electrons there. So now I have a total of 10. I still need nine more. So I have to go to a third shell. All right? A third shell. And that third shell in this case is here. And the third shell can have 18 electrons. I don't need all 18. I only need nine. So I will put those nine there. That's how you do the Bohr model. That is potassium. Let's do an uh, atomic model for helium. Here I've already written out my periodic table block. You get that from your book or your planner. Okay? Now, how do I figure out the atomic number? Well, the ones with decimals are going to be your atomic mass. The whole number one is your atomic number. So I have two for my atomic number. My atomic mass rounded to the nearest whole number is going to be four. My number of protons is also given to me by the number of the atomic number. That tells us how many positive charges there are. Electrons will be the same as your protons. Neutrons are found by taking the atomic mass minus the atomic number gives you the number of neutrons. Okay? Everybody got that? Then we have to draw our circles. Well, actually, let's do what's inside the nucleus first. We know that we have two neutrons. We also have two protons. I'm going to draw my first shell. On my first shell, I'm allowed to only have 
two electrons. How many electrons do I need? Two. So I will be done after I draw these two. This is a complete helium model. We can do one more uh, model. We'll do arsenic. Arsenic has an atomic number of three. 33, I'm sorry. Atomic number of 33. That atomic number also tells me how many protons there are. 33. The number of protons tells me how many electrons there are. 33. My atomic mass comes from here. Atomic mass rounded to the nearest whole number will be 75 in this case. Okay, when we look at this digit, if it's a 0 to 4, we stay the same. If it's a 5 to 9, we round up. So in this case, it was a 9. My number of neutrons comes from 75, atomic mass minus the atomic number or the number of protons, right? That equals... 42. Okay? So, I have my nucleus here, and in my nucleus I have 42 neutrons, and I have 33 protons. I'm going to draw my first ring. On my first ring, I'm allowed to have two electrons. How many total electrons do I need? 33. So I'm going to have to draw a second shell. So I draw my second shell. On my second shell, I'm allowed to have up to eight. I will need all eight of them. I have 33 total I have to get to. And electrons like to travel in pairs. So pick, pair them up. Then I have to draw a third ring, a third shell. On that third shell, I'm allowed to have up to 18 electrons. So I'm going to do all 18. So now I have uh, 28 electrons. I'm still looking to get 33. So I have to draw another shell. My fourth shell, I'm allowed to have up to 32. I only need, I only need uh, five more. So again, they pair up. And I will have one by itself because we have an odd number. Okay? That is the arsenic bore model.